morning, this is Ms. Billerbeck, and we're going to talk about 4.3, Simplification of Linear Algebraic Expressions. All right, so first we have 5 times the quantity 2x plus 7. So that means what we're going to have to do is distribute this 5 to both these terms. So we have 5 times 2x plus 5 times 7y. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 10x and 5 times 7 is 35. So we have 35y. And because this is an expression, we do not have an equal sign. Okay, so expressions, expressions have no equal signs. So now let's try this one. We'll, we'll circle that negative in front of it, and then we're going to distribute both of those. So we have negative 3 times negative 4a plus negative 3 times 8b plus 10 so negative 3 times negative 4, two negatives make a positive. So we have 12a plus, and then negative 3 times 8 is negative 24b, and then plus 10b. So there's no like term here, but we can see that this term here and this term are the same. They're both Bs. So we have 12A plus, or it might not even be a plus, will it? Okay, so we have different signs, negative 24, and a positive 10, so we're going to subtract. So 4 minus 0 is 4, 1 minus 2 is 1, and then it's a negative sign because the bigger number is negative. So this is going to be minus 14b. So that'll be our answer. All right, let's distribute these. So we have C and we're going to distribute it to each term. So we have 4CX. Remember, we do this, write it in alphabetic order, plus 6CY plus 9CZ. And that's our answer. Yeah, one was simple. Okay, this one, we are going to take this whole thing here and we're going to distribute. So we have negative 4D times 3M plus negative 4D times negative 6N plus negative 4d times p. Okay, so negative 4 times 3 is negative 12dm. And then plus, and we have negative 4 times negative 6. So two negatives make a positive. So we have plus 24 and then a d and an n. And this is minus 4dp. Okay, and there's nothing is a like term because this is dm, that's dn, and this is dp. So that's as simplified as we can take it.
Oh, look at this one. Lots of things to do here. Okay, so this is like, um, it's kind of like chopsticks where you do da 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 so this parentheses then this parentheses then this parentheses then you're done bum, bum. okay so first we take this one and this one so let's rewrite it 7y minus 3 and 4 so then this is negative 5 times 1 is negative five. And let's write this out. And then we have negative five times negative y. All right, so let's write this again. So we have four, and then this is just negative five. We have a negative times a negative, so that makes a positive. So we have plus five y. So now we do the parentheses. These two are like terms. This is a like, and this one's a like. So we combine those two. So we have 7y minus 3, and 4 minus 5 is negative 1 plus 5y. Now we distribute. Okay, so we have this to distribute. So we distribute that there and to there. So we have 7y. And then plus a negative 3 times a negative 1 plus a negative 3 times a positive 5y. So we have 7y plus a negative times a negative is a positive, and a negative times a positive is a negative, so we have 15y. So now we combine our like terms. Okay, and we see for our final answer, we're, well, let's first do this. We have a negative 15 and a seven, so it's a positive seven, so it's different signs take the difference and keep the sign of the bigger number. So 15 minus seven is eight, and the 15 was bigger, so it's a negative eight. So our final answer, after all this work, will be, so 7y minus um, 15 is a negative 8, so let's write 3 minus 8y. So after all that, that's how it looks when it's simplified. We just had to do a little chopsticks. This parentheses and this parentheses grouping symbol, then all of this, and then you simplify. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we're down to one where we have to get, we have a denominator. And one thing we know about denominators is they have to be like denominators. So we have a nine here. We can make that three into a nine by creating a big one. That is three over three, because three times three is nine. This one has no denominator, so we're gonna multiply by nine over nine. So when we rewrite this, we have eight P over nine plus 3p over 9 minus, and then 2 times 9 is 18p over 9. 
So first we add these two, so that's 11P over nine minus 18P over nine. And then we have 11 minus 18. So it's easier to do it this way sometimes. And then they're different sides, so we subtract and we keep the sign of the bigger number. So 18 minus 11 is seven and 18 was negative and it's bigger, so it's negative seven. So we have negative seven P over nine. And that is our answer. So let's look at this one. Well, we have a two in the denominator, so we have to get a big one of two. So we have P plus nine over two minus, and then three times two is six P over two. So we can rewrite this as P plus nine minus six P over two because they all have a two. Now we have to look at combining like terms. So this one's like, and this one's like, and there's really a one right there. Okay, so they're different signs, so we're going to take the difference. So if we have a negative six and a plus one over here, and different signs take the difference. Six minus one is five. The bigger number is negative, so it's a negative five. So when we simplify this, we have nine minus five P over two. And that is our answer. All right, another lovely problem. Look at this. Hmm. Okay, so we have different denominators. So let's make them the same denominator. So an easy way to do that is just multiply by the other denominator. So three over three, and this one would be two over two. So that three times two is six, so everything's gonna be over six. And then we have three times the quantity two X plus one plus two times the quantity X plus four. All right, so Okay, three times two is six X, and three times one is three, plus two times X is two X, and then two times four is eight over six. So now we have to look at what are the like terms. So we have six X and a plus six, two X, and then we have a constant here plus three and a constant here plus eight. So we can rewrite six X plus two X plus three plus eight over six. So six X plus two X is eight X and three plus eight is 11 over six. So that's how that one simplifies. Okay, very complicated. Oh, look at this. So, we need to figure out a common denominator for this one. 
So our least common multiple happens to be if we multiply all three of these together. So 7 times 5 is 35. 35 times 2 is 70. So 70 is our least common multiple. So if we look at 7, 7 times 10 is 70. For, for 5, um, you can just do 2 times 7 to figure out your multiple. So that's 14 over 14. And then this one is going to be 7 times 5. So that's 35 over 35. So we know that everything's going to be over 70. So we'll write 70. So we have 10 times x minus 1 minus 14 times 6 minus 2x and then plus 35 times 3x plus 1. All right, so we're going to be doing some distribution. So we're going to distribute this 10. We're going to distribute ooh, the negative 14. We can't forget that negative. And this is just a positive 35, so that's no problem. All right, so 10 times x is 10x. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Okay, then we have plus, and then 14 times 6. So 6 times 4 is 24, and then 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And that's going to be a negative, so let's make that a minus. And then four, negative 14 times negative 2, two negatives make a positive. So... That's a plus 28x, and then 35 times 3, positive 35 times 3. So 3 times 5 is 15, carry a 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10x, and then 35 plus 1 is 35. 35 times 1 is 35, and then that's over 70. So we need to combine like terms. So let's figure out what they are. So I've got 10x. I have 28x. I have 105x here. Okay, so I have a constant, another constant and another constant. So I want to combine those. So 10x plus 28x is 38x. 38x plus 105 is 143x. Okay, so let's try that again. So 105 plus 28, so 8 plus 5 is 13, so that's 113 plus 20 is 133, plus 10 is 143. So now we have negative 10 minus 84, so same sign sum, so that's 10 plus 84 is 94, and it's negative. So we have negative 94. And then we have a positive 35 that we're adding. So different signs take the difference. So we're going to subtract. So 14 minus 5 is 9. 8 minus 3 is 5. And the bigger number is negative. So minus 59 over 70. And there's no way to reduce that any further. So that is the answer. 
Wow, that was a lot, huh? That was a tough lesson, eh? All right, that's it for now. Have a great day.